Hey guys, it's Slade again. I'm back to do another uh, hot sauce review. Tonight I'm going to be doing Pepper Joe's uh, ghost pepper sauce. Um, I had his uh, Butch T Trinidad Scorpion sauce last night. It was hot and it was very good. And um, I like the, you know, the way the flavors came together. And um, just a very good sauce. So I don't expect anything less from his ghost pepper sauce. Um, basically the same ingredients except for this one here has, uh, you know, the uh, Boots Loki or ghost peppers in it. So let's get this thing up. Let's get this thing open. And give it a try. Very nice smell. I'm getting the vinegar, the turmeric, and a hint of the ghost pepper in there. So let's see how this goes. Nice little chunks in there. Real good consistency. Very nice flavor. Instant heat on the tongue. Back of the throat. Not quite as hot as the uh, Butch tea, but I guess that's expected. Nice aftertaste to it. Like I said, it's got a very nice um, heat all around the mouth, on the tongue. I can feel it real good in the back of the throat. You can taste. Um, it's got a nice uh, hint of the uh, ghost pepper. Yeah, I like that. In my opinion, it's not so overpowering with heat that it takes away from the flavor. It does have a good flavor to it. And once again, down in the description below, I will have the links to Pepper Joe's and um, Penny's Tomatoes that are on Facebook, Pepper Joe's website, Penny's Tomatoes website. Um, I'm growing nothing but Penny's Tomatoes this year. Um, and probably <coughs> three quarters of my garden are seeds that have come from Pepper Joe's. Um, I've had a great germination rate on them. Um, you can see right behind me here, one of my grow boxes, and there's one right here. Uh, there's another one. You see in the little hallway in the back, back there, there's, I got four grow boxes in there, and then over here, I got four grow boxes, and um, all my plants seem to be doing very well. Um, the heat's still there. Um, it's come down a little bit. It's real manageable. Um, I have a very high heat tolerance, you know, so what I say might be manageable may not be to others. So, um, of course, with this hot sauce and any hot sauces, you know, um, you have to be careful with. Um, but this is a very good hot sauce, uh, well-blended uh, mix of flavors. Um, no one overpowering the other, I don't think. And, <clears throat> as I said last night, man, I could see putting this on barbecue ribs, pulled pork. Um, I could see using this in a stir fry. 
uh, barbecue chicken. Um, wow, anything really. Um, I may use this right here to uh, marinate a steak in one night. If I do, I'll let you know. But um, that's the uh, Pepper Joe's ghost pepper hot sauce. And um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Catch you on the flip side.